പടയണി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഒരു ഗ്രാമത്തിൻ്റെ കലാരൂപമാണ് കേരളത്തിലെ പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് തിരുവിതാംകൂറിലെ അതിലും പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് മധ്യ തിരുവിതാംകൂറിലെ ഭഗവതി കാവുകളോട് അനുബന്ധിച്ച് ആണ്ടുതോറും നടത്തി വരാറുള്ള ഒരു അനുഷ്ഠാന മഹോത്സവം കൂടിയാണ് പടയ Padayani is performed in central Travancore region of Kerala. It is considered to be a ritualistic art form, an emulation of music, dance, vocals and headgears for the worship of Goddess Kali. It is performed outside the temple of Bhadra Kali. Padayani is a communal gathering to ensure the physical and mental well-being of the entire village by warding off the evil and creating positive vibes. The ancient form of worship transcends the boundaries of past and religion gathering a sense of unity The myth behind the festival is very interesting. Demon Dharaka was given a boon by Lord Brahma that no man or god could kill him. He tormented the entire universe. Lord Shiva's anger led to the birth of Goddess Kali when he came to know about atrocities of Dharaka through Devas. Goddess Kali killed Dharaka and drank his blood. Even after killing Dharaka, her thirst for blood was unquenched. So, in order to pacify her, Bhutagana started beating drums and dancing. She wasn't pacified. Her thirst was leading to destruction everywhere. Then she saw a painting portraying her in the blood thirsty avatar made by Kurup in Mount Kailasa. She smiled and subsequently burst into laughter. From Kali the destroyer she became Bhadrakali the protector. 
the festival of Padayani is a tribute to Bhadrakali and is being celebrated since. The festival is celebrated during the months of Kumbham, Meenam and Medham of the Malayalam calendar, which is approximately the months of Feb, March and April. Padayani can only be performed on specific dates of the festival during night. Traditionally, it was celebrated for 41 days, but now it has been reduced to 28 days. This art form is peculiar in every aspect. It is performed using headgears, chess pieces and additional accessories which are collectively called columns. Columns individually embody a certain character associated with the spirits and deities. The columns signify various deities as well as are a way of historical narration. Column making is considered to be an art in itself. A column is said to be written when a complete mask is made. They are made from the natural materials which comprise spethas of the arcana nut palm tree. Natural colors are painted on these palas using a brush made from the stem of a coconut leaf.
fresh masks are made for every performance due to their susceptibility to brittleness as well as because it is believed that they lose their magic power if reused. Percussion is a major part of Parayani and instruments such as Thappu are entirely exclusive to this art form. The performances are based on rhythms customary in South Kerala, considered to be archaic in nature. Poems, vocals, percussion, dance and drama usually conclude in the performance of Padayani. The performances without columns are usually performed in a group. Some of them contain the elements of satire and comedy while others are symbolically religious. Some of the column performances are dance dramas wherein stories from Hindu epics are depicted through dance. Each performance starts at a slow pace and gradually leads to a rapid tempo, eventually leading to a performer or percussionist entering into a trance. The columns signify various deities as well as are a way of historical narration. The first column to be performed in a Padayani celebration is Ganpathi Kolam or the Pisachu Kolam. This Kolam is associated with Lord Ganesha. It is believed that for auspicious beginnings, Lord Ganesha is evoked at the start. Marutha Kolam depicts the relationship between a mother and her children in the form of trans drama. Expressions of humour, mannerisms of a housewife and motherly affections are reflected through performers' movements. that Padayani was exactly what I was looking for, you know, in terms of dance, because Kalanupayat is not a dance form, it's martial art. It is 
very interesting to see Calamari Payat, but for choreography, I think uh, the people of Padayani are much closer to uh, the questions of um, how the body uh, uses space, time, um, the question of a mask, uh, the question of um, relating with the group. In 98, I was uh, a part of a manifestation when, uh, on the first Padayani. Um, it, was, uh, it was great, actually. Uh, I felt that uh, I felt very well inside the costume. I felt very well tight. My, my, my mask was holding me tight. And um, it was easy to move, to, uh, to dance barefoot on this ground. And uh, I felt there was a, a very much energy flowing from the dancers, and it, it all made sense as a group. Kalum Kolum depicts the story of Mark and Lea. It deals with the concept of time. Mark and Lea was a gifted individual born to a Brahmin couple as a boon by Lord Shiva, but he was prophesied to die at 16. Upon knowing his fate at 15, he prayed to Lord Shiva fervently. On his 16th birthday, Lord Shiva saved him from Kalan after a raging fight. The story is very famous in the Hindu mythology. Bhairavi Kolam is the largest Kolam. It depicts the Devi together in the destroyer and protector form. It is the heaviest and weighs 120 kg. 15 people together carry it while performing. It depicts a face of a lion and an elephant on its two sides. It's the true representation of Goddess Kali and her Bhadra Kali avatar and emboldens the spirit of Padayani. Rituals are vital to Padayani celebrations. 
The villagers believe that if the festival is not celebrated with adherence to the rituals and if the performances don't happen in a particular sequence, the village will suffer the wrath of Kali. Padayani is not just a festival but a way of life for the villagers. The essence of Padayani lies in the binding part of not only humans with nature but also humans with gods. The festival is a way of purification of not only the performers but also the entire village.